Has Thor had problems with his hammer? Yes. And had it been for his father's sacrifice, he would have gotten the beating of his life. Fun fact. Marvel some years back, retconned the power that was inside Mjolnir. While before inside Mjolnir was some of the Odin force itself, that got altered so it was the mother storm that was inside the hammer. Before retcon, after retcon, the mother storm was and perhaps still is a power that could rival that of Odin with his Odin force. If not for the piece of Uru metal Odin might have lost his battle with the mother storm. And the so-called enchantments, were to keep the will of the mother storm subjugated. But as the mother storm later revealed, it was her that chose who could wield her power and not. She even explained her choosing Jane Foster, as a temporary love affair with another. And Jane Foster as Thor, she had all the powers that the actual Thor Odinson no longer had. After Mjolnir and Mangog were mostly destroyed, when Jane Foster sent Mangog and Mjolnir into the Earth's sun, it took the Yggdrasil seed growing out of the sun and Thor sacrifices for Yggdrasil to reforge Mjolnir. But when Odin passed on Thor two-thirds of the Odin force, most of the enchantments of Odin started to break down. Especially the ones in Mjolnir. Already with two-thirds of the Odin force, King Thor got pinned to the floor by Mjolnir without being able to get up. This was Mjolnir's first round flawless victory. But as the Mother Storm got completely free, that's when Thor was completely screwed. Despite all the cool new ways Thor was using his powers. If Odin hadn't stepped in, Mjolnir would have bashed Thor brain out, and walked all over it. But even Odin that had already given two-thirds of the Odin force, couldn't do much except also get the beating of his life. Because everyone that knows anything about Odin, is that the Odin force is what made him so powerful in the first place. The Avengers and others, could only buy time for Thor and Odin, seeing the mother storm that was the power in Mjolnir was also going through all of them. The amped power that Thor had was just not enough. Nowhere near enough. And without an important sacrifice, he would have lost his life to Mjolnir, Mother Storm. In the end in order to win, King Thor had to call upon the powers of his mother Gia. Odin had to give him the last piece of the Odin force, that was his own life. Use Hofun to send himself and the Mother Storm to Nidavellir. And use all the power he had to shatter Mjolnir. Thor used so much of his power and the full Odin force, that he fell into the Thor sleep for four months. But still, after using all of that power, his family was still able to put the pieces of Mjolnir back together. And the reforged Mjolnir now holds the soul of Odin, because Valhalla was destroyed. And so Odin's soul had to find a place to inhabit. That's how formidable of a power Mjolnir with the Mother Storm was. That it took everything Thor and Odin had and more, just to shatter it. So even shattered Mjolnir, Mother Storm won big time. Seeing Mjolnir was not shattered by Thor using just his power. It took all of the power of Thor, all the Odin force, the power of Gia, Hofund, and the forges of Nidavellir just to shatter it. And knowing comics, the Mother Storm is still out there, somewhere. Weakened but recovering. Thanks for watching Jumbabum. See you in the next video.